I am remaining bullish, looking for higher prices to come on Bitcoin. And in this video, I'm going to be talking you through the exact trade setups that we have and sharing with you a plan to honestly help you remove those FOMO emotions I know a lot of you are going to be feeling. Uh, you know, after seeing such large moves to the upside on Bitcoin, you know, you've got a few different camps of people. you got you got the side which is, you know, happy, longs from lower, you know, can really be this relaxed, chilled kind of opinion right now. Hey, we've just broken out from a major level. We can definitely be heading towards $50,000. You know, I'm not going to be overly uh, emotional or excited. It's just, hey, I'm in really good profits from lower longs and I'm looking for higher prices. You got the other bunch of people that have missed out everything. They have no longs. Uh, maybe they've even been shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting these rises. And, you know, they're they're wrecked. You know, they've lost a lot of money shorting the market. They're not in their long trades. And they're shorting more of a want for the market to drop. They want to see it drop so they can get a long from lower. So, you know, they're, they're very tired and, and probably feeling very sad right now. So I'm going to share a plan that helps everybody. Of course, from my last video, I was making it clear I'm not shorting for Bitcoin. I am looking for higher. You know, we've just seen a massive breakout and for real 50K is on the cards. And a lot of comments from people saying, no, that's impossible. It's not going to happen. Well, here we are, you know, almost a week later and we're trading at 35,000. It's not been too bad. Um, you know, from my bias of the last video, being bullish, looking for higher while we were still below 30K, right? My bias over the next five days since this YouTube video, you know, to the group I've been making it clear. I am still no short trade, still looking for higher day after day, telling my team still the same bias. Nothing's changed. Looking for higher, still no short trades, keeping it simple and long. OK, long and chill, no short trades. Of course, then we go on through 27K. We went through 30K. We're just reclaiming levels, which is really, really nice to do. Uh, so, you know, so it's still no need for me to take shorts here. Bitcoin's still strong. Um, you know, and just really trading my plan, okay, and that is I've seen a massive breakout on Bitcoin. This for me is a sign of strength. I'm very happy with this sign of strength. And as I haven't had a technical reason to take a short, because I want to say something to you very important. I am a trader that understands the higher term time frame bias and trade perspective, which is a, which is bullish. But I am still aware that we can change higher term time frame perspectives and biases. For example, let's say uh, next month we start to trade below, you know, twenty eight thousand dollars. That means that over the next, you know, few days, few weeks, price has seen a fake out, and that what looked very bullish saw new data and new information to bring us down, and then end in a massive failed auction fake out. So. Understanding our higher term time frame bias is still built off of the information we have with us today. So even though I am higher term time frame bullish, I am looking for higher prices. I have not shorted this section of the chart, all of the data here. I've not shorted it. And that is because I don't have an actionable short trade. So if I'm given an actionable short trade, which I feel has very good high probabilities, I know where I can lock in my take profit one. I know where I can put in my stop loss invalidation. I'm going to take that short, even though I'm bullish. And I know that sometimes confuses people, but you know what I'm looking for then I am looking for a short trade and I do feel that we can get it above this wick. So what I'm actually looking for is I am looking for a new high to be made above this week, okay, that was put in on Monday. So I'm looking for a move onto around our naked point of controls, right? And this sits really nicely. I've already done a uh, live stream, by the way, for the uh, champions. So if you're a champion, you already know this information. <laughs> uh, but I'm giving it, going to give this to everybody for free on the public. But if you want, always want to see the daily live streams, and you know that's already on the website for everybody every single day. So yeah, then you don't need to wait five days for an update on YouTube. <laughs> you know, really simply, what we have is a very nice Fibonacci level here, and I want to show you uh, everybody because of its importance. And that is when we look at the 382 Fibonacci level from the all-time high down to the lows there around sixteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. We've got the 382 just above us, right? So it's a very key level. And what I love about that 382 is how it does sit right on that weekly naked point of control. Um, so I'm getting this from our new templates on EXO. So if you can't follow along with this, uh, check out the new templates on, on the website. Uh, but for me, yeah, 
fairly simple looking for this now to make a new high and then as always right trade the reaction so I've, you can see i've got my alert set and i'll make an informed decision when we hit that high it'll be either one of two things right we either go boom straight through it no reaction and we go off to the moon sort of you know <laughs> that saying right we just continue higher I'm only going to take a short trade if I get a good reaction. So what is, you know, one of the ways that we can look for a good reaction? It's something known as like a failed auction swing failure pattern where you come up, get a failed auction swing failure pattern and above the previous high, a bit of a wick. Again, it doesn't need to be this high of a wick. It could be much smaller. But I'm looking for something which is known as like a, a, a wick-based reaction where I'm going to then come into the order flow upon seeing that wick. I'm going to look at the delta. I'm going to look at the open interest. Again, I'm really going to take a look at then the lower term time frame CVD. Could even switch over to a tick chart. And I'm going to really base it off of visually and then moving on to the order flow to say, OK, is this reaction good enough? Do I want to take the short trade? And for me, that is a only something we can say in the time. So right now, well, we haven't even got to move up there. So if we just fall down from here, I miss that short totally and I've and I was wrong and I have to say you know I was wrong I've already told my champions I'm looking for higher no shorts yet so if we do fall down from here you know there's going to be a lot of people uh, missing that short so what am I looking for next to make it very clear one final time I am looking for higher I am bullish I do feel that we can go to fifty thousand dollars absolutely yes but I recognize there's a short trade right above us that it has got some nice probabilities it does have a very easy invalidation and it does also offer a very nice take profit one. Okay, so I could just look for this local range of our area high. Okay, so I can look for the back test. What does that mean? That means that if we get this move up, we get a very nice reaction. And then let's say we get our short at trade entry. Then we have an entry, a stop loss. Okay, so I'll, I'll visualize this for you. You have an entry, you have a stop loss. And then, you know, the target can be much lower. But the take profit one target, we could be looking for this range value area high slash point of control area right we are take profit one and what this does is just this protects us for if we come down we hit take profit one and then price holds up some higher lows and continues higher that trade obviously got stopped out but upon hitting take profit one we can move down a stop loss and we can protect ourselves that even if we take a short trade and there's a massive pump by using good risk management good entry triggers and good take profit one targets we can profit on this market whatever happens then and that's the situation i love to get people into i love to get you into positions where you can profit on whatever happens next okay that's what my aim is that's what i aim to teach and uh, you know that is why i'm successfully teaching you know you can come over here and check some of the recent money shots from the champions who are you know crushing it not just on the cryptocurrency but also on the stock market we we cover it all um, but yeah, it's really lovely to see this. Uh, people giving full explanations of their trade entries, why they take the trade, what they're looking for. You know, you can just see it's a community of people. Hey, look at this guy. Patience paid off. Thanks for all the teaching. Wouldn't be where he is today without the guidance. You know, this is this is what we're aiming to get people towards. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see people reaching their goals. And, you know, that's, that's what we're here for. Right. Final words that I'd like to say before I end. And uh, of course, yeah, if you want to see daily live streams, live trading streams, whole educational library, you know, where chartchampions.com. Also, for the people that have been kicked off of uh, Bybit for, you know, uh, there's obviously restrictions now of UK traders, USA traders, all of these traders, um, you know, regulations, everybody. So a place or an exchange which doesn't have such strict regulations right now is Bing X. This is an exchange where you can trade cryptocurrency, you can trade Forex, you can trade the stock markets. So you can trade it all here over on Bing X. I'm using still Bybit and Bing X at the same time right now. So I'm using them both and uh, I like them. I can see also, you know, other other champs are using a combination of Bing X and buy a bit as well so if you want to get the best deals for those exchanges and you know you're going to get it via us chart champions uh, so if you want to take advantage of uh, the bing x or the buy bit deals of course uh bing x no kyc hello uk and usa <laughs> uh crypto forex stock market trading all in one place well we got a good new deal for you all and uh yeah you can use the affiliate link if you're interested in that um everybody else i've given you my plan i've told you what i'm looking for 
Uh, if you want the updates more in real time, you know where to get it. That would be via chartchampions.com on the champions membership. That's where I give the trade updates, explain exactly what I'm looking for, reasons why, and, uh, you know, just making it very clear and simple. Uh, you know, since the start of the year, I've really made a conscious effort to make my trading bias and plans clear to all champion members. Long and bullish, looking for higher. That higher price could come off of this NPOC. If I get the reaction, I'll take the short. But for now, let's see how that reaction goes. If we blast straight through, I'll continue looking for 50k. If I get a nice short trade there, I'll take it and I bring it down. Uh, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And that is going to be me saying goodbye. Thank you, everybody. And <laughs> still not going to end the video. Cheers, everybody. Love you all. I really do. Enjoy the charts. Enjoy the trades. And uh, yeah, let's make some great profits together. Cheers and goodbye. <laughs>